get a pie in his face? Of course he has. It's tradition. You remember that last time when, uh, he, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Exactly. Pester picks the names, but they never show up. I wonder what happened to those kids. Shortcut to the pie throw. Thanks, mister. <laughs> Mommy? I don't know why he even bothers picking a name. It's all just a scam anyway. And our lucky pie thrower is... Maggie Pesky! Me? Oh my god! I can't believe it! Thank you, Principal Pester, and thank you, students of Buzzdale! Take a good look at this guy here! Cause you won't recognize him when he's drenched in pie! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Pesky! But let's get one thing straight, okay, kid? I may keep running this silly contest to keep the old timers off my back. Yay! But it'll be a cold day on a firefly's tuchus when anybody puts a pie in my face. Then you'd better get that firefly a bit warmer, because it's time for dessert. Trust me, his face is going to take a pie so hard his grandchildren are going to taste it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Cool. We can chew gum now at school? When did that rule change? Well, when you're a designated pie thrower such as myself, you're kind of above the rules. This is precisely why I eavesdrop. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some gum to chew. Oh, poor Pupert Pesky. That's no way for a big sister to treat her little brother, is it? I was just trying to help. Well, of course you were. And someone who respects the rules like you deserves respect too, doesn't he? I guess. You know, you remind me of myself when I was your age. I was young and gullible once. Really? Sure. Hey, no smoking in the hallways. Must be short. Sorry, but that busted tail light's a safety issue. Let's get it fixed, huh? So then I was hot like you were Hey, Maggie! Look at me! You're looking at the newest inductee of the Safety Monitors Association. I looked into that gum issue. Turns out nobody's above the rules. Whoa, you're issuing me a citation? The rules are here to protect us all, Maggie, and willy-nilly gum chewing can be quite dangerous. <laughs> but I'm your big sister. Yes, but when I'm wearing this badge, I'm not... Uh, Pupert Pesky little brother? I'm Pupert Pesky safety monitor. You see, Principal Pestrip handpicked me to- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Handpicked by Pestrip? So that's how it is. Hey, you can't do that to a safety monitor. That's a sightable- Sightable offense. So cite me, sight boy. I'm afraid I'll have to. <laughs> like it matters. I'm sorry, but rules are rules. Thanks. Hey! 
Tell your buddy, Pestrip, that no little brother of mine tells me what to do. Hey! I can't write that fast! Hey! <laughs> Sorry, Maggie, but Splatter in the school is a psychic. Pies here, free pies. Authentic replicas of the one I'm gonna throw in Pestrip's smug pile of space. Okay, people, this is an illegal and dangerous baking operation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you got a permit to hang those posters, right? Oh, Pupi. You think it's a coincidence that Pestrip deputized you the same week I'm supposed to pie face him? You're being used. You're a pawn! Lies! Lies! Principal Pestrip respects me! Why can't you? Because you've got pie pants. No, I... <laughs> Maggie, it seems you're racking up citations at an alarming rate. Uh, is that so? Yes, 40 to be exact. In fact, you've triggered an obscure rule. <gasps> Let's see. Ah, yes! Good old Section G, Article 3 of Paragraph 19. Any student, and I quote, who amasses 40 citations shall forthwith receive detention to be served at the principal's discretion. Well, there we go. <coughs> detention? Yes. How does today at, oh, two sound? That's when the pep rally starts. Uh, Principal Press Trip, sir, according to my records, I've only written her 39 citations. Well, you can What? Give me that! Good. Curse my anticipation. One short. Quickly, Puber, cite her for something this instant. But she's just sitting in a chair. Look, she stole my stapler. Hey! The stapler was clearly thrown. Fine, then. You just follow her like a moth follows a flame. And sooner or later, she'll get burned. But wait, if I'm the moth, doesn't that mean that I'm the one that's good? You know what I'm saying! Now get out, both of you! All you gotta do is last till two o'clock. Yeah, but how am I supposed to do that with the Maggie monitor watching my every move? I didn't make the 40 citation rule. I didn't even know about it. I have to do my job. By the way, you didn't clear your tray. I was about to! <laughs> Maggie, it's... I know! Time for fourth period. Stay cool. Just go in the class. Nothing wrong with that. Can I help you with the combination? No! Just leave me alone. That wasn't littering. I'm picking them up, see? I'm just trying to help you. He's still on me. Doesn't matter. I'm not doing anything wrong. Or am I? Am I flying too slow? Can't be late to class. That's a citation. Can't fly too fast. That's a citation. Come on, Maggie. We're almost there. Almost. Are you okay, Maggie? You're flying kind of funny. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. You're everywhere I turn. You're a step ahead of me and a step behind. Oh, no. What? You shredded a citation. That's a citable offense. What? No. I need you, Hubert. I'm your sister. I'm sorry, Maggie. It's the rules. This is hot. Coming through. Hey, uh, lunch lady, what's the slop of the day? Extra super spicy mega hot slop. Oh, perfect. No! Code red, code red. We've got a runner. All units respond. No wonder they cut our arts program. The defense budget's through the roof. Let's 
hear it for the Buzzdale Flies mascot! Yay! Okay, enough. Who's ready for time? Yay! It's time for your principal to be a good sport and take one in the kisser. <laughs> As I do every year. All right, Maggie Pesky, let's do this! Well, looks like Maggie's a no-show. Well, moving along, our janitorial staff has... Hey! Pestrit! What? Who said that? Pionara, baby! Maggie, stop! You stay out of this, pupper! Don't think I won't pie you if I have to! Easy, Maggie. No one has to get hurt. We can find a compromise if we... Get her, you fools! Wait! It's more festive. If you just let me talk to her, I think I can... I didn't hire you to think. I hired you to stop pie. No, no! Maggie was right! Papa! No! but it's my sworn duty to enforce the rules. And the rules say you take a pie in the face. Oh, Pupert, that was fantastic. You totally earned my respect. You score me to detention, big guy? I'd be honored. Just in case. walk up, he kind of passed me, but then he dropped his book right next to me, and, well, it wasn't right next to me, but he was kind of behind. You never talked to him, did ya? Girl, you can't rush magic. Gotta pick my spot. Ew! <gasps> <laughs> Mags, uh, looks like you got a little spit wide, uh, right there. So anyway, have you heard that new song by the Spinning Spiders? You got me all spun up and hanging by a thread. Got me all spun up and hanging by a thread. I get some all spun up and hanging by a thread. I need you to turn it down a notch. You're bothering the other customers. We were just... Yeah, it'd be super if I cared, but I don't. Keep it down. Yo! It's mine! It's up! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hottie at two o'clock. A hottie? Where? <laughs> girls, girls, girls. Throwing balls, talking on cell phones, singing off key. But we're just hanging out. They're the ones who are... Hey, guess what? Still don't care. But if you're kicking us out, you should kick them out too. Look, girls, don't make me get physical. I'm getting carpal tunnel from the cappuccino machine. We were just singing, laughing really loud, and talking on our cell phones. It wasn't a problem until Aldrin and his goons showed up. You can hang with me and my goons at the park. They're slide swings, old men who talk to themselves. It's super duper. All I want is a place to hang out where we can just be girls and no one will bug us. It's not fair. No, it's not, Maggie. I remember the injustices of childhood. In fact, I'd always write about them in my trusty old journal. Oh, no, not the journal! Oh, boy! Journal time! Mmm, cozy. I thought you got rid of it. Just biding my time, dear. Just biding my time. Chauncey Pesky. Let's see what little Chauncey has to say. Dear Diary, I'm so bummed. Mom is such a jive turkey. She won't let my friends hang out at my groovy pad anymore. We just want a place of our own. When I'm grown up, I'll never kick my kids' friends out of my house. It'll be dynamite. The end. Very touching. Everyone's excused. So, they'll never kick your kids' friends out of your house, huh? Turns out journal time can actually be quite enjoyable. Well, I'm certainly not sticking 
running around with all this commotion. I'm going shopping. Coming? Shopping? Fine. And Caitlin told Teresa, who heard it from Julie, whose brother Bobby sit next to Leslie and Matt. And she said Tony might actually know my name. But did you talk to him? Not yet. But I am sending him a vibe. And coming up on Flea Entertainment, interviews with the top millipedes in Milan and Paris on the latest in footwear. Ooh. Hey! Dad, we weren't done watching that. But we were. You can't just come in here and turn the channel, Aldrin. This is our hangout. Our hangout? <laughs> That's rich, isn't it, George? Rich? Yeah. Who's rich? Good job, Mags. You scored us kids the ultimate hangout. Now scram, me and the boys have a game to watch. Dad, you said this could be my hangout, but now Alden's trying to take a piece of my action. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll uh, pull out my trusty journal. I'm sure it'll have something to say about this. Well, apparently not. Okay, look. You're all my kids, so you can all hang out here. That's what little Chauncey would want. Dad, this is totally unfair. This is supposed to be our haven, our sanctuary of girldom. It's a big house, Maggie. You kids figure out a way to all get along. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some shopping to do. Come on, Maggie. We don't have to hang out in here. Please go online and check out some websites. Let's I am Caitlin and tell her to... Playing revenge with a freaky poison tongue radioactive frog thing. You want winners? No, I don't want winners. I want you and your band of puny people out of here. Back to the park with you and your kind. Sorry, words out. This isn't just your hangout anymore. Yeah, thanks for scoring the house. The park was boring. The sand would always go in my crevices. Anyhow, the chafing started to affect my. Come on, Maggie. It's a big house. How bad can a bunch of boys be? Hey, we ordered this pizza. I know, and next time, woo, hold the jalapenos. Georgie's tummy, no, like it is spicy. Oh, oh shucks. Hey, baby. Uh, We're trying to finish building our model of Captain Caterpillar's bug mobile. And I'm trying to pretend you and your mini dweebs aren't in my room. We're just looking for our extra strength, super adhesive, never coming off modeling glue that we left in the bathroom. If you find it, let us know. Cupid! <laughs> Boys! Ugh. First they drive us out of our restaurant, then out of the house. But at least we get to hang out here. <laughs> This is a Pupert Street Fort! Man, that house was ours! We tried to share, we tried to play nice, but they wouldn't listen. Well, they've run out of time, girls. It ends now. You are aware that the girls and I have decided to give you boys one last opportunity to exit the house peacefully? Yes. And you've discussed the matter? Indeed. How do you respond? <laughs> I'm afraid those terms are unacceptable. Okay, girls, looks like we're gonna drive them out. And we can do this, ladies. We're smarter, prettier, stealthier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but what are we supposed to be blending in with exactly? I don't know, but you look great, so spring. You think? Okay, then, we're under siege. We have to stick together and stay focused, so listen up. Pizza's on its way. George, you're on chips. Leon, handle sodas. And what can we do, huh? Can we have a job too? Huh? 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 How about you try not to annoy me? Okay! Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry. And Nancy was acting all that with her new frog skin purse, pillow, total knockoff. <laughs> and did you hear that Caitlin and Matt are totally together? What is she thinking? Luna? Is that gossip? Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! I'm starting to crack! I'm gonna lose it! Uh, get a hold of yourself, mister! Feel him squirming already. Remodel team one, you're a go. I repeat, you're a go. Don't go soft on me. Give me two coats. Don't stop till it's fuchsia. Remodel team two, I want full coverage formation. Daisy's facing in. Now move it. <laughs> Away from the windows, men. Away from the windows. Oh, thank Bug. At least the pizza's here. Mm. Sorry I'm late, man. Is that topping green? Yeah, your sister changed the order. Said you're crazy for the veggies. Ah! Oh, it's vegetarian. Everyone hit the dirt. Hang on.
on, Georgie! I'm coming! Speak to me! Oh, I think I took a mushroom. How do I look? <laughs> You're gonna make it, buddy! You're gonna pull through! This was my good shirt, man. <laughs> my good shirt. each other at the trash bean, you could have stayed there. And if you had worked things out here, you could have had a great hangout. But now, you've got nothing. But, but what about little Chauncey? Little Chauncey grew up. But don't you worry, kids. We've come up with another place for you to hang out. Well, this couldn't get much worse. Georgie's tummy still doesn't feel good. <laughs> Imagine and learn with Stanley and all of his animal friends. Stanley's coming up next, here inside Playhouse Disney. 